Welcome to. Okay, I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, I'm in the back. Welcome to bite sized yaps, where we're just yapping the entire time. But today we're going to be yapping about The Boys Season 4's first three episodes, which so far, I really like this season. I don't think it's my favorite so far. I don't think anything will top season one. But so far, the first three episodes are pretty solid. And it's just more calculated than what season three was which or season one season two and season three i feel like season one those previous seasons all were more explosive with their opening episodes than what season what season four is i mean to be fair there's nothing you can really top with season three's opening opening scene oh my god that opening scene is insane it's just wow how do you top that which i don't think they even tried which I guess that's a good thing. I, I don't I don't know. The thing about the boys I worry thing about the boys that I worry about the most is how I feel like they just use it as a gimmick to top themselves every time with the gore and the violence, which I don't think is super necessary sometimes. Like sometimes the violence is just doesn't feel it doesn't feel very necessary. It can be excessive, like very excessive, which I don't know. But one thing I know is not excessive is Homelander, because Homelander is still my favorite villain ever. I can watch that guy any day of the week. I just love that guy. I love Anthony Starr as Homelander. Fantastic fucking character, and I love that. And I really like how he how he is this season. It's far different from how he was in the previous seasons. He's actually have to be more mature and more like his... more like a father, really. He can't be constant child even though he is a child himself he can't be a child because he's also raising a teenage son who can possibly explode if he had the chance to and which speaking of teenage son ryan is also pretty good i wasn't really a big hater of ryan like unlike other people who didn't really like the character and i i just said a ton on instagram real comments but i feel like ryan is pretty solid here i don't think there's anything to hate about the guy the poor kid is just trying to understand everything in the world. And honestly, I'm glad that they actually changed things up and didn't make him evil too. I don't think it was necessary, honestly. I think it's better that they let this kid just be a kid and let him be kind of naive to a degree. And I kind of like seeing that kind of innocence with Ryan. But the thing about innocence is that you don't really see that a ton in the show, which is kind of interesting because I think they actually prey on the innocence of some of these characters. Which, in speaking of, it's also the new characters, I realize. They're not very innocent themselves, but I think they are very solid. Especially Sister Sage, who I think might be my favorite new character that they've introduced so far. Honestly, better than um, Soldier Boy. I mean, to be fair, Soldier Boy, he, I love Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy. He's awesome, but I mean, Sister Sage adds a different dynamic to me. He really gives a far more... Um, I think her dynamic with Homelander is one of the things that stand out because you can see her challenge Homelander a ton. But you, it's also interesting to see Homelander actually listen. He actually listens to this girl, and it's actually really fun to see that these things actually work. The things that he, the things that she is telling him, actually work in his favor, which kind of reinforces the fact that she is worth listening to. But the other new character that comes out here is probably is um, Firecracker. I'm not the biggest fan, honestly, and I, it's not like I'm like there's not, I don't really get a good read on her. You know, it's hard to get a read on her. She's nothing to really get a read on these first three episodes. But I mean, she's cool. The actress plays her really well. But I mean, she's all right. And the deep Ashley did something for once. Oh my gosh, that is a shocker. Yeah, I know, right? And. A bigger shocker is A Train actually trying to change things up for once. The dude always seems to be a um, <laughs> half asking his own redemption, but it's actually good to see something happen this year. Oh, also, speaking of this, is all spoilers. I don't know why I didn't mention that earlier, but yeah, it's all spoilers. Speaking of also spoilers, Black Noir is actually really funny. I liked hearing him talk. It's just, I like that's a delight. It's just, just different. And it's really funny to see him. It's actually just an actor underneath there, which is really good. And going on to the boys' side, which for the most part, the boys is 
basically led by M.M., who I really think is stealing the show for them. I really like his role as the leader. He's actually a far health, far more healthier leader than Butcher was. But I don't think he has the same aura that Butcher has. Which, speaking of Butcher, he's basically on his own. And he, found, he kind of feels kind of sidelined. I mean, he, he still gets moments here and there. And I love his moment with Ryan. Absolutely spectacular. I love that moment. It really, it's really scary to see Butcher being a better father than Homelander. But to be fair, pitting, a, pitting Butcher against Homelander in terms of fatherhood is not the best idea. But the fact that Butcher is a better father to Ryan is really interesting to see. And also, like the other boys crew, like Huey and Starlight, they're pretty solid. I mean, it's kind of crazy looking back at season one that these were the first two characters that really started at all. And it's going to be really bittersweet to see, this, to see this series go after season five, which is, yeah, it's going to be really sad looking at it. See, this is season, this is the penultimate season, which I hope there is a lot that goes down. We're speaking a lot that goes down. There's also Kamiko and Frenchie, which I'm surprised to say that I'm not the biggest fan of their storylines. I mean, so far it's been three episodes, I get it, but I mean, there's been there's stuff that it involves them isn't the most engaging to me, you know. It's just kind of drags, and it, I like how they're exploring these characters a lot, but I also don't think it's the most interesting way to explore them. I think they're okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but you know, I think it's the thing that's mainly holding holding it back for me for the first three episodes. And which overall, this is a solid start for the show. It's it's not a bad start for the show at all because this show always hooks you. I think this show has probably possibly the best hook in any TV show. It just hooks you right there, which this fourth season doesn't fail to do. Also, I forgot to mention Victoria Newman's awesome. I love Victoria Newman. Ugh, just. I, I, I want to see how they handle her f in the future, but for the most part, I really like Victoria Newman. I, I really hope they really expand on her later in these other episodes. And which speaking of, I really hope they stick the landing with this show and with this season specifically. Because this season is going to be really important to set up the future for season 5. Which season 5 is the final season, so I hope they end on a high note. Because we don't want to end on some garbage-ass note, bro. With this, uh, such an amazing start to such an amazing show so i really hope this season ends great and the show ends great and who knows it will check back with me at the end of this season and hopefully all these takes age well to me and thank you for listening and possibly losing brain cells over this but i still appreciate you listening Bye bye